Hi, I'm Kieran Bracken, ex-England rugby international and curry lover, although I'm not much use in the kitchen. So, curry expert Cyrus is here to show me how easy it can be. I'm Cyrus Todiwala. We want to show you how easy it is to cook a great, authentic tasting curry. And it's easy, so easy that even Kieran could make one. Really? Are you sure? I think you can. So, what have we got there? We've got a lot of juicy, juicy lamb. We've got great lamb. But what have we got here? We have ginger, garlic onions, cinnamon, okay, but you can use cassia bark, we got coriander powder, we got garam masala, turmeric, chili, tomatoes, tomato paste, some yogurt, lamb stock, and in the end, just to make the dish complete, we're going to put some cauliflower florets and some new now, potatoes. Now, looking at this lamb, it looks yeah. absolutely gorgeous, but myself, being such an amateur going to the supermarket, I have absolutely no idea what quality control to look for. Look for a quality mark. The red tractor logo is one of the marks you can look out for in supermarkets to be sure the meat has been responsibly produced to meet mm. quality standards. Before we start, we need to brown this lamb a little bit. So I'm going to put a bit of oil in there, not too much. Throw oil Pan's in. hot enough. Go for it, sir. Yeah, spread it out nicely. And just because you're feeling the heat, I'll put it there. And while we do that, let's bring another pan in front. Bit of oil in there, sir, if you don't mind. The reason for spices, even though we don't eat them, mm is that we need the oil in the spice to flavor our food. Cinnamon's got oil in it, cardamom's got oil in it. So once the oil is hot, I'm going to throw this in in the meantime. If you won't mind scraping some ginger for me, sir. No problem. I will save you the teardrops and I'll cut the onion myself. Okay, it's very, very important that our lamb is browned very well. Once it's sealed nicely, it'll cook better. So is that a high temperature, just browning? It has to brown at a high temperature. High That's temperature, most yeah. important. Because we don't want the meat to give off its juices. We want the juices intact. See, the oil's hot enough. Cardamom goes inside and my piece of cinnamon. Always remember, crack your cardamom first. Oh, okay. If you don't crack it, it's going to explode in the oil. What's happening now is the oil has changed color. Yeah, it has. So the hot oil has entered the spices, yeah. infused yes. the oil in the spice, and the oil is coming back out in the pan. And what do you want from it? You want the oil from the spice, nothing else. Well, that now, the onion just the has onions. to get a little bit brown. Just a little It'll bit start brown. very quickly, yeah. Is the lamb sealed or Lamb is beautifully sealed Okay, now. so you leave it at a low well, temperature. You can actually cover it and leave it. Yeah. So it starts to stew nicely. That way, cooking time is reduced. Okay, at this stage okay. now, when the pan is drying up a bit, welcome to add a bit of water okay. just to deglaze the pan. We got liquid in there, turmeric. Now all those powders together is called a masala. Okay. So any number of spices, condiments, whether pureed or powdered or whatever, is still a masala. When a masala cooks, you get bubbles at the edge and the oil starts to release. Yeah. Bit of color. I'm putting my stock in there. How much stock is that? That's about 400 ml. Okay. More if you want. Okay. As soon as it hits the boil, I'm going to put that lamb in. I'm going to cover the pot for a second, yeah? We have a lovely boil there. This goes in. Put some salt in. And just cover it for about hour and plus for leg, maybe two hours for shoulder. Right, well, half an hour to go. Cyrus is watching the rugby, so let's get it in here. Give it a stir. Let's get back and watch the rugby. Okay. We have to put the yogurt in, sir, just to finish it off now. And you mix that in. Yeah. We'll just you mix it in it. very gently. And we just chop up the coriander like that, yeah? Guess right. to get the biggest portion. Okay, so we are done. You know that the cardamom and the cinnamon is still inside. Okay, so you want to take and, that uh, out? You must just tell your guest. There it is. You can take it off. I grab it. Yeah, you can take it off or you can just tell your guest to look out for it. Yep. It's nice and thick so you can have it with bread or rice or naan. Okay, what do you think? This Good stuff. Lovely. Great food. Fantastic. Gorgeous. So, don't forget to check out the website www.simplybeefandlamb.co.uk forward slash big curry and give curry cooking at home a go for yourself. You'll also find more recipe ideas, step-by-step -step videos, lots of curry hints, tips and please remember if Kieran can cook it, so can you. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.